quite dark outside so I ended up taking a taxi because I cannot risk it. I wanted to take the bus, it would be cheaper and easier, but I can't risk it because where I'm supposed to come out from is like really dark, really dark and narrow road. Like, my soul almost left my body walking to this place because <laughs> it was so dark, there was nobody. I'm going home now. Hey, this morning was so scary, you guys. Yo, it was so dark. Dinner is served. Yo, I miss <laughs> my top i am very late it's actually 6 6 40 right now but i'll go good morning to you hey guys what's up good morning today is wednesday and it's currently 6 30 i'm about to head out and i'm already um actually late for where i'm going to i just thought i should start the vlog so this is my outfit of the day mm, you guys can see yeah, I'll take you guys along with me for my day. I'm, I I hope you guys can actually hear me to be honest. So let's go. Um, this is my top. I am very late. It's actually six six forty right now, but I'll go. Guys, so I'm currently in the taxi. Um, as you can see, it's quite dark outside, so I ended up taking a taxi because I cannot risk it. I wanted to take the bus, which would be cheaper and easier, but I can't risk it because where I'm supposed to come out from is like really dark really dark and narrow road so i cannot risk it risk everything i'm holding because these guys in the morning it's like this they're usually out there to take things from people so yeah i couldn't risk it so i took a taxi and i'm regretting it right now i mean it would have been cheaper to use the bus because it's everywhere i'm going to but i just decided to take a taxi anyway i love my top today so these guys are going too fast I don't know if you guys heard what I was saying, but I love my top and my pants today. Um, I'll see you guys later. So like, comment, share, subscribe. there was nobody i'm really early it was so dark but yeah many unbearable hours later hey guys so i'm done i'm going home now hey, this morning was so scary you guys yo it was so dark at seven when i got here it was seven it was so dark so so dark <laughs> i was so scared to even come out here but ooh, oh my god so clear i was so scared to come out here by myself but yeah, I'm going home now. It's 11 a.m. and I'm gonna walk to the bus. I'm gonna take a bus. I'm not taking a taxi. I'll take a bus. So yeah, let's go. You guys, I'm finally back home. I just got back. Just got back. I'm always doing this. Whenever I carry the camera up, I'm either touching my ears or touching my nose, like, and there's nothing there. But anyway, I'm back home and <laughs> I'm back home and. I I want to cook um okay I want to cook some stew I want to make some soup um later to today that's what I have for dinner and what else I don't know do some other stuff if I go out I'll take you guys along but if I don't <laughs> we'll see I didn't show you guys but I was cooking and I'm almost done I made some draw soup And um, farine. It's currently 6:20, you guys, and dinner is served. Yo, I miss. <laughs> I don't know how much I miss eating this. Yo, I miss it so much, and it's not like I don't know why I've not made it. This is not like an everyday food in this house, but. <laughs> I love 
Yo, this is good. This is good. Yeah, I'm missing. My neighbor came back from work and he was like, I'm hungry. That was the first time I heard him speak English. He was like, I'm hungry. What are you cooking? I'm so, I said, I'm cooking this because it's some ivory coast and they eat this. He was like, you cannot wait. Like, if I have something else, I was like, yes. I made rice and stew the other day. So it was in the fridge. It's in, it was in the fridge and he took the last and he, he ate it. Oh. So he took some of it and ate. Mm -hmm. Bros, hunger made you speak English? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> oh, damn. This is the type of food that you don't want to share because it's, it's too good. Yeah, you should always share though. But it's too good. It was good. Oh, damn. Alright, guys. So it's a couple of hours later. I was actually editing this vlog and I just thought I should explain why. Wait, my arm. I thought I should explain why I said I was scared this morning to go out. I ended up taking a taxi so that someone would not come to my DM and say to send me a message saying, "If you think Senegal is not safe, go back to your country." Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll block you. I'll block you instanta, instanta. Don't do that. But anyway, the reason why I was scared is, um. Here in Senegal, my phone has been stolen more than three times, you know, and yeah, two times where I was inside the bus and one time a guy walked up to me with um, a dagger, a knife at night. So that's why I'm actually very scared sometimes to go out when it's dark and you, this time in April, in February, it's always dark in the morning. And it gets dark at night quickly so yeah the first time I when I came to Senegal after when I left Russia I came to Senegal that was the second time I came to what am I saying I was in Senegal then I went to Russia then I came back when I came back it was like after a month of staying here I got onto the I got onto the bus I was going to a French Institute just to make just to ask like how much it cost and all that and when i got down from the bus i realized that my phone wasn't in my bag i should say i was naive then because you know i just got here right and so and i know i i had to remember when they took it because when i was trying to come out from the bus there were this group of men standing in front of me and were helping me you know make way to get down the bus they were just shaking pushing 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 so my bag was moving but i didn't think that they were trying to they were all doing that just to get my phone i was thinking it was because like the bus was tight so when i got down my phone wasn't there and it was a samsung phone an expensive one at that i used to use it to film so i was paying i had to use my money my um what's it called my money allowance then that my dad sent to me to buy a new phone and that phone was the one that was stolen from me so in february 2020 i'd gone to see a friend it was around i was coming back by 10 30 or 11 and I, I went to the boutique to buy stuff and then i was holding my phone trying to tell my friend that i was staying with at that time to open the um the gate for me to get in i was trying to text her and then someone walked up to me with a knife and was like, give me the phone. I was like, hey, God, I was so scared. So I gave him the phone, forgetting to take out my concealer card from the back of the phone. Because I usually keep it in the phone case behind it. So I, he stole the phone and also my concealer card. And then imagine the next day I was passing that same road in the morning or in the afternoon. And someone called my name Happiness. I didn't actually I was so scared and in shock that I didn't actually think to like I didn't know that that person who called my name could have been the one who stole the phone because how did he even know my name so when he called my name I went to him I was like how do you know me he was giving some sort of explanation that I, that I didn't really understand because you know he was speaking well of mixed with French and then I told him that my phone was stolen and he was like he would help me get it 
I'm sure that he, he should be one of the people who stole the phone, or if not him, because my consular card was, was behind the phone with my name. So I'm sure that's how he knew my name. But that one part passed. I was working then, so I had to buy a new phone. Then the third time was when was 2021. I had gotten onto the bus again, going to work early in the morning. And I came down and my phone wasn't there. I don't know if it's... Or maybe I was careless, but I don't know if my phone was stolen. And there was one time, this one, it was me. I was so exhausted. I was work. I was at work. Um, it was during co when COVID was like boom boom. So I was at work and um, very exhausted. We closed at four p.m. Stayed till four thirty for the kids to leave. Then walked to the bus stop. So exhausted. Waited at the bus stop till eight p.m. No bus, cause then COVID was at was just too much. It was high. Um. Yeah, we're at the bus stop till 8 p.m. I was so hungry. So then my, my friend and I decided to um, take a taxi and I slept off and my phone like just fell down, like fell on the car, on the chair, the back seat of the taxi. And when I got home, hmm, I was going crazy. I was really going crazy. So like, and then I was actually planning on getting this particular phone that I'm using because, um, I wanted a better camera for YouTube, so I was like, okay, maybe this is the time. And I went to the mall. I got a, this phone. The next day, the driver, the taxi driver, called me. I called the phone. No, my friend called the phone because I had given up. So my friend called the phone, and the taxi taxi driver picked up, and he was like, he's with the phone, so he's going to bring it to the school and give it to me, but I'll pay him some money i was like okay so i paid him three thousand and then i got the phone and that phone i ended up giving it to my friend the one who called the taxi man i gave it to her like just take it i got a new phone already so yeah that's the reason why i usually don't like going out when it's really dark and yeah but tomorrow i have to go out but not as early so i'll try to leave when it's like not so dark even even though i might get late i'll try to leave when it's not so dark so i'll end up using like the bus you know than taking a taxi so i can save more yeah so that's the reason why i was scared this morning so if you and if you watch to this part of the vlog like comment share and subscribe and thank you for supporting me thank you for watching my videos i'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace.